In this video, I'll show you how I connect my eBay store to Printify and Payoneer to list items in my new store. First, you need to have an eBay store and an active Payoneer account. You cannot list items without a Payoneer account. If you don't have one, you can set it up while creating the connection from eBay. But there are some verification documents you need to submit to Payoneer before they approve your account and it can take a few days. So make sure to do that before connecting to eBay. Once you have have the Pioneer account, go to eBay, click at the top after signing in, and then go to your seller account. Click payments, then scroll to the card and account section. Click the plus button and choose to connect your Pioneer account. Now you need to log into Pioneer and connect the account you have. If you want to switch the Pioneer account, you can click delete and then add new account. Once you set up the Pioneer account, you can delete it without closing the seller account. This is part of the deal with eBay. If you don't have an account, on eBay, you can watch the next tutorial in which I create a new account to show you how to do it. But if you already have an account on eBay, you can skip to the part about connecting to Printify. Start by going to the website, then click sign in and choose create account. The easier way is to use Google or Facebook to log in. I do that, but you can also sign up with an email and a password. Choose a personal account. It's much easier if you don't have a company under your name. You can always change it letter. After confirming that this is your email, you can continue. To create the account, click the button. Now add your phone number. It should be a real number because they send you a message with code to verify it. After that, they might ask you for another way to verify yourself, but you can skip it. After you finish, go back to the eBay homepage and click on the top left side. Then click account setting. For the first time, they ask you for your address. And after you fill that, you're going to be in your new account. You will see a long list of links you can click to set or see things in your account. Click the seller dashboard and you will be asked to start selling. You can click it and then it will ask you to list an item. However, in this case, I'm opening a store using the Printify connection. So all the listing are going to run through Printify. For this, I need to go to Printify and I can continue connecting the account to Pioneer from there and complete the setup. Now let's see how to open a new account in Printify. Then we will connect eBay as a store. Printify is a website that prints on products and send them directly to your customers. That's why you don't need to have an inventory. This is good for beginners who want to start an online store without holding inventory or spending too much money on products they don't know if they will sell. Printify has different providers that mix and print the products and then send them directly to your customers after they buy from you. So you need to pay for each product they send, sometimes before the money from the sale hits your bank. You do need some extra money if you want to do print on demand with your own store, especially if you plan to open a, the store on websites like Etsy or eBay, which hold your money from the sale until the customer gets a product. This can take time. You, so you you pay for the product but don't receive the money until a certain time has passed. Go to Printify website, the link is in the description. You have the option to sign in. Then sign in with a Google account or email and password. After that, you get some questions about your experience with print on demand. I think they want to know what people do with their account and why they signed up for Printify. So don't overthink the answers. Just write what's true for your situation. After that, you get to your dashboard. On the left side, you have a menu with all the things you can do. You can click on the catalog and start create any product you like, or you can connect a store and then start adding designs to this store. If you want to know more about how to create products and sell them, you can watch this video next. After you log into your account in Printify, click on add store at the top of your Printify dashboard, then find eBay in the list. Now click it and you will need to answer some questions to connect it properly. First, give it a name. This is an internal name for you, so you can recognize which store you're working on inside Printify. Then click connect. If you don't have an eBay account, you can click the link to set one up, but we just created a new account, so we already have one for this video. Click the button and it will open a pop-up window so you can register on eBay to connect the two websites. 
Click Agree and Continue. Now you need to connect your Seller account, but we didn't set this up on eBay yet. So click the here link and it will take you to eBay so you can continue setting everything up. Log into eBay, click Get Started, verify your phone number and click Text Me. You'll get a message with a code, just type it there and confirm. Now this is important. If your Pioneer account is not a business account, leave the eBay account as individual. If you have business account on Pioneer, you can change here the eBay account also to business. Now connect to your Pioneer account. If you don't have one, it will take a few days to get approved. That's why I suggest creating the Pioneer account before starting all of this. So click sign in and another pop-up window will open. You need to log in to your Pioneer account here. Then click agree and OK. Now you need to sync the profile. Click continue. You're still in the eBay pop-up window and now you'll need to add your credit card information. They won't let you sell anything without securing a way to take money from you if needed. So add your credit card info. They shouldn't charge you anything. It's just in case a customer complain and they need to refund them. But you don't have a balance in your eBay account. If you're working properly, you shouldn't have any problem and this card should never be used. After you enter your credit card info, click continue. Add your tax information. It should be a number you use to register as a company or freelancer in your country. This step is optional. Then click Submit Request. If there is anything you still need to verify on Payoneer, you will see a window for that. I had a new form they asked me to fill out. So the window sent me to Payoneer to submit it. You might not see it or you might have more confirmation to do. Just fill it out or send them the document they ask for. You can go to Printify and continue setting up the connection to your eBay store. If you didn't do some of the setup step on eBay, you can always use the link in Printify that sends you directly to the correct eBay pages. If you have already set up a seller account on eBay, you'll just need to mark the checkbox confirming you did everything and continue. After that, click publish your products and your store will be connected. There's one more thing you should do if you intend to sell on European countries. Click the button at the top and you'll go into your store setting in Printify. Just change it to I intend to sell and confirm. If you don't have this button at the top, you can always go to the setting and do it from there. If you have a store on a different platform, you can just copy the design from it, change the store in Printify to the other store you have connected to Printify and go to the product tab. Now find the product you want to duplicate and click the three dots at the end. You will see the option to copy it too. And then choose the eBay store you opened. You can copy as many products as you want, but the problem with a new store on eBay is the that you can't list more than 10 products, including variation, and all of them must cost less than $500. This is only applied to new stores. This is why it's a good idea to have the option to customize the product. This way you can publish 10 products and let the customer change the design. After you copy the product, go to the eBay store in Printify, then click the product tab. Now go over each one. If you're not going to change the design personalized option, you can just publish it. But if you want to change the title or description, then click the product to open it. Remember to set a personalized option. This means that whenever someone buys the product, Printify will not print it and send it until you manually approve it with the changes you made for that buyer. After you're publishing the product, I realized clicking the European regulation button on Printify description was a bad idea. It adds an address to the description, which violates eBay rules. If your product isn't accepted by eBay, try removing the address or any other identifying information like URLs or phone numbers. That should allow you to publish it. Want to know how to publish your product effectively and build your brand? Watch the full video course now. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.